What's going on, comrades? Drewski here at Yellow Buckets Productions, back for another toasty <laughs> review. And today we have Baltica Extra Lager Russian Beer. Um, a 16 ounce bottle, 8% alcohol by volume. Um, nothing too special. It's Russian, so you know I'll probably. Uh, you can see why I took an interest in it. It's a dollar ninety nine at my local liquor store. Um, I'm not looking for anything too special because if there's single pint beers sold in the back of a liquor store somewhere, that's usually a sign, you know. So, but we're still gonna give it a try. So I'm gonna zoom up, get my frozen mug, frosty style, and I'll be right back. And we'll crack her open and give her a try. All right, we got a beer mug, Frosty, the Drewski mug. Shout outs to Eric for this badass mug. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna give it a shot. Baltica Lager. So, extra lager. So I don't know if that truly means, maybe, that, you know, that it was, uh, what do you wanna call it? Uh, <clears throat> brewed or whatever in extra low temperatures. It's an 8% Russian beer, so I'm really just trying to get slapped and give you guys the taste in the meantime. So I'll just go, you know, kind of a big vessel for what I'm gonna really pour, but I just really wanna take a taste <clears throat> before, you know, I go pour in a whole fucking beer. This is like half of it. So, a little, little less than half. See what, see what Baltica? Grade 9 extra lagers got going for it. Okay. It's got a really strong, really strong barley. Like, mmm. It's almost, it's almost bitter, but it's not. Um, I can see why they need extra lager. Um, if it was any more extra, I think you'd be at the level of a steel reserve or like, I don't know, it's like malt liquor and shit. You can, t you can tell I'm no connoisseur. If you want to hear a guy that actually kind of knows some shit about beer, watch Hunter Yellow Buckets do some beer reviews because he, he's more educated in the palate of flavor, but honestly... It's just, it's kind of disappointing. Like, hail to the motherland. I expected a great, a great, a truly glorious beer. It's nothing that good. Sorry, that was slightly uh, insensitive, but <clears throat> to truly sum up how I feel about it is that I expected something kind of just like a Budweiser or not like a Budweiser, but just your typical beer, you know, which is average at best, Budweiser, Miller, whatever, but with an, just an extra punch, which this kind of is, but it just doesn't truly have a good flavor. It just tastes like another chalky beer, you know. Let me take one more slug, and I'll tell you how I feel. Maybe I just got to hit it out the bottle, and I'll give it a toast to your view rating. <clears throat> Yep, not that good. So, ooh, excuse me. On a toaster review rating scale, I'm going to give Baltica probably a solid two and a half. Two and a half to to toasties. Because it was an alright beer. You know, it didn't taste horrible. Just wasn't anything special. Baltica. Baltica. Grade 9 extra, I'll give you two and a half toasties. Probably wouldn't get it again. Um, don't really recommend you to try it. 
<clears throat> look for Toasty Review Tuesdays with snacks and food reviews, and Toasty Review Thursdays with drink, alcoholic beverage, beer, and co assorted cocktail reviews. But until next time, comrades, thank you for sticking by and watching, keeping up with Yellow Buckets. This has been Baltica. I'm Balta pissed. That was horrible. But until next time, catch you guys later. Cheers.